I feel bad when you see a lot of great cats and dogs that don't have a place but home except here. I think uh, people that go to the stores are kind of looking for special breeds. You know, they want purebreds. They have their idea that that's the kind of cat to get. And they're willing to spend any kind of money, a lot of people, you know, to get what they want. Jackie Fahey, the director of St. Hubert's, and her sister and another woman from St. Hubert's drove all the way out to Missouri and brought 90 dogs back with them. Randa and RV did quite the incredible journey. And so I examined those dogs as they arrived in both cases. And then again in February, um, Teresa Strader brought some other dogs as well. They don't breed the best specimens, it's all about the dollar, and they can perpetuate traits like eye disease, heart disease, hip dysplasia, certain genetic problems that they're really not trying to improve the breed, they're just trying to increase quantity, not quality. Well, with the mills, we've seen a lot of medical problems, a lot of broken legs, probably because their legs have been crushed between doors. The dog I adopted, I mean, you raise your hand, raise your voice, and she cowers and runs away. I just think the way the animals are kept is just kind of inhumane. Their feet never touch the ground in many cases. They live in little chicken coops. They drink out of small water bottles so that they don't have to dirty a, a bowl. And so their teeth become rotted because they're never able to wash the food out of their mouth. They have to suck out of a little sippy bottle. They've probably been beaten. A lot of dogs are afraid to come near us. They have no socialization whatsoever with humans. They just know that humans are horrible people that mistreat them to such great extents that they don't want anything to do with us. They come in, they're all ripped up and torn up. All of them needed to have teeth cleaned. Horrible skin conditions. Greyhounds with broken legs. A hole in her cornea that hadn't been treated. Horrible eye infections and extractions. And poodles come in that you can't tell which end is their head and which end is their tail because they're so matted together and their legs are stuck together. It's not something that anything, any creature should have to deal with. You know, I think that the worst cases we probably never see. Well, Izzy's an Italian Greyhound, so by nature she is lazy. So she does like to sleep with me. She loves being in my lap and always has to be near me. She follows me around and she loves to run outside with me. Um, I run every day, so she's my running buddy and she runs right next to me. Izzy came from a puppy mill in Missouri and she was actually in cages where they used poles, so she had no human contact ever before. She had to get several teeth pulled and they said within a year she's gonna have to have all of her teeth removed just because of the neglect. She is active, I tried to give her out, go on walks and everything, but she is very scared of cars, traffic, um, she's scared of bigger dogs, but she is progressing, it's just, she is still very fearful. There were a lot of different breeds, Italian Greyhounds, Pugs, Chihuahuas, um, there were some schnauzers and dachshunds and uh, pug, puggles and some of the exotic breeds like uh, they cross, they call them exotic breeds, they'll, they'll breed a, a pug and a beagle and make a puggle, but there were or, or Jack Russells and pugs. The animals you adopt from the Humane Societies or just from any rescue group, I think the animals are a lot more thankful and grateful that they have a home. Um, not to say that animals from puppy, from pet stores and stuff um, don't need homes. I just think animals that have been through some type of a situation just seem to be a lot more grateful. Um, and they need homes. To buy puppies at pet stores supports the puppy mills. Even if you don't realize it, it does support the puppy mill industry. And the only way to stop it is to stop consuming the pets. I would highly recommend adopting a dog rather than going to a, a local pet store where 
they actually, one time I went in and they were feeding the dogs Gatorade just so that they would be perky for the customers. I'm really glad that I was able to adopt her from a shelter as opposed to a pet store just because puppy mills are such a problem throughout the world that I would indirectly be supporting them. We have two programs called Feline Friends and Canine Coaches and they kind of work with a one-on-one -on -one basis with the animals. Um, feline friends will come into our cattery. They'll play with, with some cats and kind of get to know their personality and it also allows the cats um, to have some socialization with people on a more personal basis rather than just have them sitting in cages all day. We want to get them to come out of their shells a little bit because when they first come in they get pretty nervous and we kind of want them to, to feel confident around people and um, Canine coaches, we have people come in, take out our dogs, walk around with them, do some leash training with them. So it, it really helps for the animals that they, they get this attention that they really need. When I say you should go to a shelter and adopt a dog, I mean it with all my heart because those dogs need homes and they're really good and they're friendly. Oh, I think what they're doing is great. Um, they could use you know as much support as they can get from you know just every average person. We take donations of all sorts. We take blankets, food, treats, toys, litter. Um, we'll take pretty much anything. I would really recommend that you go to a shelter and adopt a dog today because there are so many animals who have so many needs and wants and never knew what it was like to be loved or to have someone care for them and all they knew is just pain and suffering.